We got a Pokemon producer letter! Totally forgot. Official Pokemon new update. TTG. Eh, whatever. Uh, 2023 coming to a close. 2024 just some weeks away. About four, for a matter of fact. Plus, like, you know, give or take three. Upcoming updates that we're excited to share over the next few months. Several changes centered around the overall game balance and play experience. <laughs> Excuse me. I've heard that before. In order to maintain balance, we will continue to adjust the balance, thank goodness, as such as various measures to the ranked match system. Temporary experimental changes, which means they're probably not going to stick around. Observing player reactions and their overall impact to improve game balance. EX license! Oh, are these going to be ranked only? New classification for some existing and upcoming Pokemon's Unite licenses. While this won't change the power level of these specific Pokemon, it will allow us to enact special regulations in ranked matches! Oh, it's ranked only! I like this so much better now. I like this so much better in it being ranked only. That means in customs, in standards, and quicks, you can still have whatever you want. If you want full legendaries, you can do that. I, I like that. I, th I think that's good. I like that. Th th this also means that they're starting to take ranked a little bit more seriously. I like that too. That's good. That's good. One more master. Oh, only in master. Interesting. Well, if there's a master player, so in veteran and above. Uh, in veteran and above, it's likely that you will only be able to have one legendary. That's that's good. That's good. It's not all of rank, which is a shame, because it really should prepare you from the beginning. You know, like in beginner class, but you know, I guess then they would have to like change the tutorial. Then again, it really kind of needs to be updated anyway. Uh, this also means that they're not taking ranked as as serious as we would like. Only masters. Which is not great. <clears throat> they really need to take the earlier ranks seriously so that less people get to masters with stupid strategies. <coughs> I played a rank game today. It was miserable. I had, I had no joke, legit, a team of Mewtwo, Inteleon, Mimikyu, and uh, another character. I can't remember which. And I don't think I have ever seen a set of players play worse. <laughs> Was it a Gardevoir? It might have been a Gardevoir. I think it was a Gardevoir. Maybe. Maybe that was a different game. But, like, I could not think of a better set of characters for them to have. Was it a Hoopa? No, that couldn't have been the Hoopa game. I played I played a couple standards after. Was that the Hoopa game? No. What was I? Was I, I was Gudra, right? That was my Gudra game, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that was my Gudra game, because I remember it being such a pain to hit Mimikyu with Dragon Pulse when they're invulnerable for literally 60% of their gameplay. Ugh. Um. What was it? Not important. There, it was a Mewtwo, an Inteleon, and a Mimikyu. It was no joke, one of, like, the best sets of Pokemon to have, like, outside of having, like, a Lapras or something. And I don't think I have ever seen a set of characters play worse. I think it was Decidueye. I think it was, and a Spirit Shackle Decidueye, I want to say. No, the Spirit Shackle Decidueye was on the enemy team. What other attacker was it? I know we had three attackers. Was it an Eevee? No, it couldn't have been. It was a Decidueye. Never mind, it was a Spirit Shackle Decidueye. The both teams had a Spirit Shackle Decidueye. So there was a Spirit Shackle Decidueye, an Inteleon, a Mewtwo, and a Mimikyu. And I was playing Gudra because we needed a defender, right? I could not think of a better set of characters to have on that team. I don't think I have ever seen a set of players play worse. The Decidueye never went in always held forward, missed every spirit shackle, and get this, he would walk forward and melee unite move. He would knock knock one foot away from the enemy Dragonite, and did so multiple times. 
He walked into Ray Pitt, nay, a foot away from a Mimikyu, and ulted. Like, what are you doing? I, we had an Inteleon who never farmed, never hit their shots, would do one liquidation and die. They would hold forward, and they were stacking no less. They had no idea how Water Gun worked, so they missed every secure in the early game. And we had a Mewtwo whose only useful contribution over the entire game was mashing ult. <laughs> they lost every fight. They never got a kill. They didn't use Psy. They didn't use um Psy Strike well. They teleported in. It was miserable. <laughs> None of them had any idea what they were doing. And the Mimikyu lost every 1v1 they went into. The fact that they were Mimikyu was the only reason they even got 6 kills. Because the enemy had like a Decidueye. <laughs> they were awful. They missed all of their Shadow Sneaks. They didn't use the increased range. They never ulted. It was miserable. They never went to objectives. It was awful. I have never seen a set of players play so bad. And reminder, I am in Ultra 1! It's not like these were low-quality players. These are Ultra 1! Ultra 1 is usually the best rank, period. Ultra 1 is usually the rank that has the most players actually trying. Veteran has a ton of experts that have no idea what they're doing. Expert and below will literally just do whatever they feel like. And Masters is full of people that have no idea what they're doing and have given up because they already made it. Right? Ultra is the one that consistently has the most good players. And it was miserable. None of them had any idea what they were doing. Like, even on like the most basic level of farming, they couldn't farm. They couldn't hold backward. They didn't know how to use their ult. They didn't know what their moves did. They were playing broken Pokemon and losing to mid Pokemon in 1v1s. How does a Mimikyu lose to a Dragonite? How does that happen? That's such a free kill, I can't even describe it. It was miserable. If they don't take, like, the early ranks seriously, players like this will just keep getting to the higher ranks. So it's just like, Master Rank players are only get like 1EX license, right? Well, that's cool and all, but we need that to be happening in the earlier ranks so that players understand what these changes are. Like, oh, you're in ranks now, you can only have one Legendary, right? You can only have certain Pokemon. You have to play a certain way. These are the things that you have to do in order to win. You have to understand farming and rotations and timing. If we don't encourage that in the early ranks, nothing changes. <laughs> it doesn't matter how like high level you make master rank players, they can't even fall out of it. The bad players will still be in masters by the end of the season. It doesn't matter how many games they do. It's wild. It's wild. Rant over. I wouldn't really call it a rant, though. I wasn't, like, angry or anything. It was just insane to me. What kind... Like, it felt like I was playing with four children, but I was very aware that these were adults that were making calculated decisions, right? These were not children playing the game. You know, like, they weren't, like, pinging retreat. They weren't sad. They weren't salty. They were making calculated decisions on how to play the game. <laughs> And they just had no idea what they were doing. And I'm pretty sure I was the only Ultra player in that game. They were all Masters, I think. In fact, I think I can check. Yeah, I can still check. Let me check real quick. It's, it's so wild to me that they could have so little understanding. Even more than, like, bad randos. More than trolls. This was, like... I... I think they physically could not have played worse. I think it's physically impossible. Like, I don't... They couldn't have died more often. They couldn't have lost more XP. They couldn't have been more useless at objectives. They couldn't have thrown the game any harder. Right? Like... Like, three of them back-capped at Tier 1. 
like the third like the third goal farthest away on top lane not even bottom top lane three of them died at 201 that's insane if you had a calculated attempt to throw it usually would still not go that well if you were a calculated three stack in ranked trying to throw games, it still usually would not go that well. Because you want to know what the other person was doing? The other person was losing a 1v1 in our jungle. <laughs> that was the Mimikyu, by the way. The Mimikyu lost the 1v1 in our jungle. How? How does that happen? I think they lost it to the Nine Tails with Blizzard Avalanche. Like, how, how did you die? How did you lose that? You hit them once and they die. What happened? They still had ult. What did you do? It's insane. It's it's just impressive. I I can't imagine how you would play worse than that. All right, all right, all right, all right. Back back to back to the news. Back to the news. Ranked season seventeen, uh, starting. In six weeks, the use of EX licenses, uh, including just the legendaries, the box legendaries, anyway. Uh, each team will be prohibited. So you straight up just won't be able to use these in ranked? That's awesome. That's crazy. Then we only really have to worry about, like, Urshifu... And Inteleon and Umbreon. There's a, there's some others sprinkled in there, but they're not quite as stupid. And Mimikyu. But that's not quite as stupid. Hopefully within six weeks, you know, like with the battle pass over, Mimikyu will be getting a nerf. But you never know. Regulations will change for each series and will be announced. You'll be able to play as usual in Unite Battles other than ranked matches. That's awesome. Are they actually going to announce the changes? That's awesome. Draft pick your ranked matches. What? I thought this was dead. Is wasn't this dead? Ranked season 18 starting in like three months. What? Three months. That's some warning. Draft pick will be introduced. Draft pick will allow both teams. Oh, this is like, is this separate to ranked? I'm fine with that because it's all I'll play. Uh, draft pick battle because I am banning the absolute heck out of Mimikyu. That's gone. <laughs> Every game, I'm banning Mimikyu. Every single game. I don't care. Like, the, the only two characters I will ever ban will be, like, Mime and Mimikyu. <laughs> Unless there's, like, a broken legendary running around. Like, I might ban Koridon. I probably won't ban Miraidon, because I like Miraidon. Bias? Bias? Alright, draft pick battles will about both teams of owner Pokemon to be to play after both teams have Pokemon to ban. They should take turns choosing their Pokemon, choosing any Pokemon more than once, regardless of which team has chosen it. So we're, there, we're going with the tournament style. Like the actual, like, World Championships tournament style. We're the saying they're using tournaments. Yeah, like that. <laughs> Leading up to the Pokemon World Championships. Yeah, like World Championships, like tournaments. <laughs> if only I would just read this instead of interrupting. We considered ways to change the format to better suit ranked matches. Is is this different from how they do it? I, I don't notice any differences here. Maybe maybe the way people pick their Pokemon will be different? That doesn't make sense, though, because both teams are banned from it once someone picks it. So what's the difference? Oh, we are considering ways to better suit ranked matches. Interesting. So it's not necessarily going to be tournament style forever. But also that's the best they can come up with because we needed this for like a year now. Well, we are targeting master rank players, as you should. So considering the affected ranks and format of this temporary edition. Yeah, because it should be all of them. All of them should have this. Additional held items and battle items? <gasps> are we getting a new battle item? Nope, we are not. In the November update, the adjustments were made to many held items and battle items. Ah, I see. That's what they're talking about. Moving forward, we'll be adding and adjusting more of these items to help balance both Pokemon and items themselves. Thank you! 
Nerf eject button again, please. And focus, Ash. Please, for the love of God, nerf it. I don't care that we have the cursed items. The cursed items are on, on, on in very few percentage of games. They're not in that many games unless I play Buzzswole or Dragapult and have it myself. And I only have it on Dragapult because I hate Focus Ash. <laughs> and Dragapult's bad, so I'm already throwing picking it. December 5th, which is in uh, four days. So this is a new update. Two new held items will be available in the... Wow, they're releasing it in four days? They're releasing it with the new maintenance? Right before Meowskadada? That's it crazy. I'm running Charging Jar on Meowskadada. Oh, no, it's free. So it's going to take me like two weeks to even get it. No. No, oh, well, at least it's free. I'm back up to 91k coins, too. So I can actually afford to like buy some Pokemon that I enjoy. Like Maridon. <laughs> if Maridon's free, I've been saving coins all this time for nothing. I'll have to, I'll have to buy like a Pokemon that I enjoy. Uh, what's a Pokemon that I've been enjoying playing recently? That I would buy? I don't know. Let me check the shop. Uh, so Charging Charm, that's the one where your movements... Or you, you get a charge... You get a bit of damage whenever you move and deal damage. So like if you move around a lot and do some damage with basic attacks specifically... Uh, you get a, like a little burst of damage every now and then. So it's kind of like Razor Claw, but uh, for characters that are basic attack based. Very very much appreciative of that. It also doesn't seem to be melee or range specific, so that's nice. It'll probably be equally good for like Cinder and like Leafeon, roughly. Blaziken! Blaziken's the one that I was looking at and really wanted to buy. Because Blaziken is legitimately really fun. It's a shame it's broken, but... Mimikyu is so broken at this point, I don't think anyone cares that Blaziken is broken anymore. <laughs> Nobody cares. That's like the only Pokemon I really want to buy that I haven't bought already. Maybe a Shifu, but it's not that fun. Maybe a Zumarill and Clefable and Titar, but... I, I like Titar, but... It, it gets shut down so hard in actual games that... I... Like, yes, but no, but I need a team, but I need a support, but I don't, but eh, eh. It, it's too, it's so inconsistent. It's just so inconsistent. Uh, Zoomerill, I'm not super in love with its playstyle. It's fun. I'm not super in love with it. Fighting it's alright. It, it's interesting to, like, try and prevent crits with your teammates. We'll see. I don't know. Uh, and Clefable, I do like Clefable. I do like Clefable a lot, but you, it's it's not something that I would just play in games. You know, it's the same as, like, Blissey. I love playing Blissey. I play, you know, like, I love to play Blissey. I would call myself a Blissey main. I, it's not something I would really play in, in, unless I was, like, unless our team, like, really needed a support and it was an actual five stack. Otherwise, I don't really care. So, yeah, I guess it would just be, like, Blaziken, maybe Titar. That's really all that's left that I haven't already bought. Uh, and then there's Resonant Guard. Um, uh, gives your gives your teammate nearby a shield when you do damage. So, finally a Comfey item! Finally! Finally an item that's good on Comfey, because Rescue Hood is trash. What? Who's bothering me? Someone's giving me a... Hold on, let me look at this real quick. Okay, this is just, um, this is just the patch... This is what we just read. Yeah. And that's the actual producer. Additional rice cakes. What? I think that's supposed to be held items. <laughs> Additional rice cakes. That's the, that's the translation. That's pretty funny. Okay, and then he reads the actual one, which is the one that we were just reading right now. So, yeah. That's pretty cool. I, I would probably like to watch this in the meantime, because I'm sure his reaction is quite interesting just yet. So, let me end this, and then I'll restart it. Because this is the end of the React stream, so...